in Wellington alone in the last two years, we've had two firefighters clinically diagnosed with PTSI. So firefighters are offered a counselling service um, and we get three sessions. The problem with it is, it is self-referral and there's no mandated triggers when a firefighter has to have a, have a mental health check. And um, if the firefighter doesn't connect with that counsellor or psychologist in those three visits, they tend to drift off and they don't do any follow-up sessions. You can see changes in behaviour in firefighters. Um, you know, the, the number of medical incidences we're going to um, weighs heavily on them. And they feel, I think part of the trigger is a feeling of inadequacy after that medical call because FENS are only providing us with um, first aid training that an average office worker would get. They could offer further support, not only by what they're doing with their self-referral system, but actually put some foundations down around proper mandatory screening for firefighters' mental health. Now, again, there's been some initiatives locally to do that, but FENS has not taken up that on a national scale, and things around the country have become very ad hoc. One thing I would say to FENS is, um, you know, start treating their career firefighters as if they actually matter to the organisation. Um, we feel like we are inconvenient to them. And start taking these conditions seriously. Like I said, it affects all their volunteers as well around mental health. And that's a vast number of people. Um, yeah, and we hope that this doesn't go on for very long. We just want to get back to work.